Hello everybody and welcome to this, my brand new 100% walkthrough for Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. On this video we are going to be doing the first mission, which is more like a prologue really, called uh, Mass Exodus. Now it starts off where we left off the storyline of Assassin's Creed 2 and if you are wanting to get a recap of that, if you check out my Assassin's Creed 2 100% walkthrough, then if you look at video 139 and 140 then you will uh, get the two sort of bits of the story where we fight Rodrigo Borgia uh, and then we leave him alive and then go into the vault in the Vatican to speak to um, well they, Rodrigo Borgia thought we were meeting with God but uh, it turns out we were meeting with uh, a, an ancient civilization according to uh, who lived on the earth before mankind which of course is nice so that is where we are at this present time so if you want to catch up with that then please feel free to do so you want to watch the whole of that uh, Assassin's Creed 2 100% walkthrough then uh, please feel free to do so look for the playlist and if you like it please like and subscribe but we are going to get on in a moment here with Brotherhood and that is what we must do. So the first thing we have to do is uh, give ourselves uh, a session name. So let's do that, which we I have just done. I don't think anyone ever expects to wake up one morning and find themselves caught in the middle of a war between two secret organizations. I know I do. But here I am. On one side are the Templars, better known these days as Abstergo Industries. They're in the business of control. Politics, economics, technology. They won't stop until every single one of us serves them. Literally. Fighting against them are the Assassins. A group dedicated to safeguarding humanity's free will. I was born into the Brotherhood. A couple of weeks ago, the Templars found me. They took me prisoner. Strapped me into a machine they built and put me to work. It's called an Animus. It's where I spent most of my time. Exploring the memories of my ancestors. Discovering entire lives locked deep inside my DNA. First, I revisited the life of Altair ibn La'ahad, an assassin from the Crusades. The Templars wanted the location of something known as a Peace of Eden, an ancient artifact capable of bending people to their will. Once the Templars had what they were looking for, they decided my usefulness had come to an end. But Lucy saved me. Lucy. When things were at their worst, she revealed herself to be an assassin and helped me escape. I was hoping that would be the end of my misadventures. But we were just getting started. Back into another Animus I went. Now, I'm reliving the memories of Ezio Auditore da Firenze, my ancestor from the Renaissance, searching for a path forward. Through the bleeding effect, I'm becoming an assassin in more than just name. It will come in handy as the Templars prepare to enslave us all. They found us. They crashed our hideout and we're fleeing the scene looking for a place to hide. Only there isn't any and time is running short. My name is Desmond Miles and this is my story. As you saw, you just mash the square button there. Nothing to that. Uh, Rebecca, what's going on? I have to run some diagnostics. I'll get back to you.
don't understand. Please wait. I have so many questions. El Vaticano, December 1499. Okay, so if we look at this, you'll see a bit of a, a background to Ezio Auditore. You can read that um, by pausing the video. I'll try and give you enough time to read it. I'll try and remember to do this for the database things, but there are so many of them that sometimes they get out. They get left out. But there we go. So we find ourselves in the vault in the Vatican. And that's where we left Rodrigo Borgia, so he must have run away. in the hands of man. Uncle, what can I say? We sent a single man against an entire army. I was worried. Quick, climb up. We have to get out of here. Okay, so if you had to wait your eagle vision with the triangle button and it will show you the route that you need to take to climb out of this vault. I don't know if it's me, but the free running mechanic in this one seems much better than it did in Assassin's Creed 2. You would not believe the things I have seen, Mario. Then be sure to stay alive that I might hear of them. I expect opposition. And I expect the Borgia to mourn the loss of many lives tonight. Okay, so there's a little bit of background on Mario Auditori. It's worth reading these if you can, because actually it's Sean who makes the database entries. He's quite comical with some of them. Okay, so basically you're just following Mario in this, and this is just a prologue, it's a, an introduction to so many things. Che cosa fate qui, assassini? God will see you pay for your crimes. You have desecrated the sanctity of this holy place. You condemn what you do not understand. We must go, Ezio, now. Okay, so Capella Sistina. Or the Sistine Chapel, as we know it is. That's just cruel. Cool. This is the voice of the devil. Turn away from them. Okay, so once you got through the guards, just follow Mario. Did Rodrigo manage to hurt you? 
Barely. My armor blunted his attack. Now there is a new fight mechanism in Brotherhood, which is awesome. Okay, so you still can block the way you did, and you can still counter the way you do. But first of all, the guard flashes white who's going to attack you, but also, if you point your uh, joystick at um, the left stick at the person who you last, who is, uh, when you kill someone, if you point the joystick at another person and then press square, Ezio will automatically kill him in a chain of kills. Okay, so we follow Mario. When he starts to climb, which is in a moment, it's probably best that you just stay a little bit behind him. Otherwise, you get you get in the way of the route he's going. So just stay a little bit behind him. It does say follow him closely, but you just want to stay just a tiny bit behind him so as you can see which way he goes. And enjoy this bit of free running, which I absolutely love the free running of this game. Okay, through here, but a few more guards. Not many. So yeah, that's that mechanism again. It's pretty cool, I like it. See, I got in the way of Mario there, and nearly knocked him off the wall, off the uh, roof, which would have been unfortunate if I hadn't done. This decision is yours alone to make. Only do so quickly. Give it to me. You can do with it as you will later. Bene. Jump! And here it is. The next adventure begins. Okay, my friend the white screen was back there, remember? There it is. Montericcioni, January 1500. And then Minerva And if you want to have a read of Montericcioni and its uh, history according to Sean, then here it is.
son. She told of a disaster that occurred long ago, and another that is coming. Sometime far in the future, fellow. Then we need not worry about it. See, si. Perhaps our work is finished. Would that be so bad? Stay. Okay, so if we look at our DNA... We can see from the DNA strand, which works similar to Assassin's Creed 2, if you watched it, that we have 100% synced memory 1. Mass exodus of Rome. There it is. There were no uh, There are, in, uh, in this game, um, optional objectives to get the 100%, and we will be doing them. But that is where we're going to end this video, so thank you very much for watching, and until next time, it's Requiescat in Pace.